This is a participation video. Watch and do what I do during the video. You may pause the video to catch up between steps. Hi guys, Mrs. Castle here, and we are going to talk about acrylic paint, and we're gonna paint a color wheel. This is gonna be one of your first experiment kinds of things, because you really need to understand how colors work before you get carried away and start mixing colors and end up with mud. So mud is bad when you're talking about paint. So um, several things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a compass and you're gonna need a pencil, a regular pencil that's kind of sharpened. You're gonna need a paintbrush. A flat one is gonna work best for this assignment. You're gonna need a palette knife. You're gonna need a small amount of yellow, red, and blue. Um, yellow is yellow. Um, you could use magenta for your red. And that's that bright pink color. And you could, this is phthalo blue, but you could also use ultramarine blue for your blue. And depending on which, which color you use for your red and which color you use for your blue, your color wheel is gonna end up a little bit different. It will probably be all right, but it'll just look a little bit different than some other people's. Okay, and you're gonna need a water dish and paper. So um, one of the things that students ask me a lot is what is acrylic paint? And acrylic paint is paint that is a fast drying paint made of pigments suspended in acrylic polymer emulsion. <clears throat> they are water soluble, but become water resistant when they're dry. That means a couple of important things. You can wash it off of things like your palette knife and your brush when they're wet. But if you get it, you know, if you leave it in your brush, it's gonna dry in the brush and ruin the brush. If you get it on your clothing and it dries in your clothing, it's likely to not come out. Um, so that means use an art shirt, roll your sleeves up, and all kinds of stuff like that. So, um, oh, and one more material, you're gonna need a paper towel. Um, and this is kind of a long piece that I folded up so you can wipe your, wipe your palette knife off on. Not necessarily your brush, but because that's what we have the water dish for, to clean your brush. And you can wipe off excess water on your towel, and you'll see that in a little bit here. All right, so we need to um, make our circle for our color wheel. So I'm going to to use my compass, I'm going to decide how big I want my circle to be, and I'd like you to make a circle that is at least has a radius of two and a half inches. So there's two right there, two and a quarter, two and a half. So like one or the other of those holes. See, not very big, so it's not going to be terribly difficult. And the straight edge reaches across. This is the tricky part. I'm going to divide this into six parts. So I'm gonna kind of make an X. If they're not perfect, I do not care, but I would like your parts to be fairly even. I'm gonna kind of make an X. That's roughly 64 parts. I've done this a ton of times, so I can kind of picture it in my head where I need to go. Now, the next thing that I want you to do is label where your colors are going to go. Outside the circle, not inside. Red will go there. We're going to skip one. We'll put yellow here. 
skip one and put blue here. Okay. So, um, all right, now comes the mixing part. And this is probably a lot of paint for this little tiny um, color wheel. So I'm going to get my brush a little bit wet, so I'm dipping it in the water, and then I'm kind of wiping it off gently on the side. I'm not flipping it and putting water on my paper. I'm just gonna, I'm, I was just dipping it in the water. So I am going to, so now I'm going to paint in my red spot only. and my blue. Um, go slow, take your time. This is speeding up four times. When you rinse your brush, wipe off the excess water on your paper towel so that you know your brush is clean before you go on to the next color. And there we go. All right, so now when I'm mixing, I'm gonna bring this in a little bit closer. When I mix my colors for these three, um, so I'm going to mix red and yellow together. So I'm going to pull a little bit of red over, and I'm wiping, wiping off my palette nice to get the excess red off. And I'm going to pull some yellow over. I'm using more yellow than orange because yellow is our weakest color. And you can kind of, I'm just mushing it around. I'm trying not to spread it super far. I can always kind of pull it back in. The farther you spread the color, faster it dries out because we know that acrylic paint is a fast drying paint. It's not like going to dry in 30 seconds or anything, but you do want to kind of be careful about how long it takes you. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more yellow because I think it's a little bit dark. don't need a whole lot of paint. This is going to be way more than enough. Okay, and then I'm done with that. I had way too much, and when I wipe
wipe off, I rinse by tapping my brush in my container, wipe off the excess, don't flip it, and I can see that my brush is clean because it makes no marks on the paper towel. Alright, so I need to get my palette knife clean because I don't want any orange contaminating my next color. So this time I'm going to see if I can do better. I put the orange in between the red and the yellow. I put the green in between the blue and the yellow. And that way you can kind of see. Ideally, we want a color that's halfway in between blue and yellow. We want an orange that's halfway in between red and yellow. And I think I could probably stand just a tiny bit more. My colors kind of cover up the white of the paper. This one, we can see a little bit of the white underneath there, but acrylic paint should look kind of thick. Um, it should not be transparent or see-through. It should not, we should not be able to see any lines or anything that are underneath. Okay, so I'm going to flip that around because I'm going to make purple next. Purple is the hardest because it's dark. I've got these two dark colors going together and that becomes even darker. So you might have to kind of smear it a little bit to see if that's the color that you really want. That's very red. I need more blue. between the blue and the red. It's not too much of either blue. Okay, so there's my color wheel. 
um, before you put it on the drying rack. Um, put your name and period on it. colors, label red, yellow, and blue. Um, mix your red and yellow together and put that color in between. Mix yellow and blue together, put that color in between. Mix blue and red together and mix, put that color in between those two. Okay, um, neatness counts a little bit, um, but good colors in the right order, that is the most important. Um, Okay, now I have a lot of paint left over, um, so this is too much to throw away. So I'm going to, I would put it back in the container that I got it from. Um, or you could share those colors, but not those colors with somebody else that needs them. Alright, so, and then the rest you can throw away. makes cleanup very easy. All you got to do is clean your brush, dump out your water dish, make sure that your palette knife is clean. I'm, my palette knife is not super clean. That's better. Now I'm good to go. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching.